In this lecture, we are going to learn about another special type in TypeScript called as intersection type. And let's try to understand intersection type with some examples. Let's go to VS Code. And here, let me go ahead and let me create a type. And we have learned that we can create a type using type keyword. And I'm going to call this type as string or number. You can name this type anything, but I'm going to call it as string or number. And what this type is going to be? It is going to be a combination of string union number. Okay, so now when we will create a variable of type string or number, in that variable, we can store a value of either string type or number type. Let me actually show you that. So here, I'm going to create a variable. I'll call it x. And the type of this x is going to be string or number. So to this, I can assign a string value like hello. Let's go ahead and let's open VS Code built-in terminal. And here, I'll select command prompt. Okay, let's close this PowerShell window. And now, let's go ahead and let's compile this application. For that, we can type tsc space and then i want to run it in watch mode so i can say hyphen w let's compile this code so the compiler has started it has found zero errors okay so as you can see when i'm assigning a string value to this string or number type it is taking that value and it is not throwing any error let me go ahead and let me assign a value 20 to it and again if i save the changes we should not have any error but if i assign a boolean value let's say true and now if i save the changes you see we have one error and if I scroll up, you can see the error. Boolean is not assignable to type string or number. Okay, so since we have created a variable of type string or number, in this type, we can only assign a value of string type or number type. And this we already know from our previous lectures. So here I'm creating a type string or number. In the same way, I'm also going to create another type. I'll call it as bool or number. And here it is going to be a combination of Boolean union number so any variable which we will create of type bool or number in that variable we can assign either a boolean value or number value so using this type we can create our custom types all right now let's talk about intersection type so what i want is i want to create a type and let me go ahead and let me call it as my number type and to this i am going to set the type as string or number intersection and for that intersection we use this ampersand sign bool or number okay so this my number type this type is going to be an intersection of string or number and bool or number that means whatever type is common in this string or number and bool or number that type of value can be assigned to this my number type so here for this string or number, we can assign a value of string or number type. And for this bool or number, we can assign a value of boolean or number type. So in these two types, the common type is number. Right. That means this my number type, it can store a value of type number. A value of other type cannot be assigned to this my number type. Let's actually see that. So again, I'm going to create a variable. Let's call it x. And it is going to be of type my number type and to this if i assign a numeric value let's say 20 and now if i save the changes we don't have any error but if i try to assign any other value for example boolean and if i save the changes you see we have an error if i try to assign a string value let's say hello in that case also we are going to have an error string is not assignable to type number so the type of this my number type it is basically number so when we use this intersection type on simple data types in that case it takes the common data type and it sets the type to that common data type for example here this string or number it is of type string union number and this bool or number it is of type bool union number so in these two types the common type is this number so that will be the result of this intersection type when we use this intersection type on string or number and boolean or number the result will be number type because that is common in these two types i hope this is clear so this is how the intersection types works with simple data types like string boolean or number 
Now let's try to understand this intersection type with complex types. So here let me assign 20 and I'll also go ahead and I'll comment this code. And actually here it should be a numeric value. All right, let's save the changes. Now let me go ahead and let me create two complex types. So for that, again, I will use type keyword and I'm going to create a type user. And this user, it is going to have a name property of type string. And it is going to have an age property of type number. Okay, then I'm going to create another type called admin. And again, this is going to have a name property, which is going to be of type string. And it is also going to have a role property which is also going to be of type string. Okay. Now what I want is, I want to create another type, which will be the intersection of user and admin. So for example, I want to create a type called admin user. Okay. And in this admin user, I want to have the name property, which is going to be of type string. I want to have an age property, which is going to be of type number. And I want to have the role property which is again going to be of type string so i can create this admin user type like this or what i can do is in this user type i already have name and age property and in this admin type i have the name and role property so what i can do is i can use intersection on this user and admin and that intersection will result in this type so here I can say user intersection and for that intersection we use end keyword admin. Okay, now if I hover over this admin user, you will see its type is user and admin. So when I create a variable, let's say John, and to this when I assign an object, in that object I should have the name property, I should have the age property and I should have the role property. So this name is common in user and admin. So we should have a name property here, which will be, let's say, John. Then here I should also have an age property. So first of all, let me set the type here so that we will also see the intelligence. And here the type is going to be admin user. Okay. And as I set the type, you see, we have an error and the error says this type is not assignable to type admin user because here the age property is missing. So let's go ahead and let's add age property also. Let's say age is 28. Okay, and still we have that error and the error says that role property is missing. So let's go ahead and let's add role also. And let's say role is admin. So now that error is gone. So this admin user, it is a type which is an intersection of user and admin type. So the common properties of user and admin will be there in the intersection type and the non-common properties will also be there. So for example, this admin user, it will have a name property, it will have an age property and it will have a role property. So this admin user, it will have a name property from user and admin and it will have age property from user and it will also have role property from admin. Okay, so when we use intersection type with simple data types, in that case, only the common data types are considered. But when we use intersection on complex types, like we are doing here, in that case, all the properties from all the types will be considered. I hope you got the point. Now here we are using type to create these types, but we can also use interface here. Okay, so when we use interface, we don't need to use this equal to sign. Here also, instead of type, I can use interface. And again, I don't need this equal to in that case. And based on these two interfaces, we can create a type. So the result here will be same. Now let's try to understand a use case for this intersection type. So let me comment this code also. Okay, and let's try to understand a use case. So what I want is I want to create a function and I'm going to call it as process order. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create an interface. You can also use type here, but I'm going to use an interface here and I'm going to call it as order. 
and in this interface i am going to have the order id so i'll simply call it as id which is going to be of type number and let's say items which is going to be an array of string so here i'm going to store item names in that order now what this process order function is going to take is it is going to take an object of type order so i'll simply call it as order and its type will be order and we also want the status of that order so the object which we are going to receive for this process order in that object we should have id we should have items and we also want a status property there in the object which we are going to receive for this process order so here i am going to use intersection and here i am also going to specify an object okay and in that object i should have a status property of type string maybe okay and in here inside this function i am going to write a console.log statement and there i am going to print order.id i'm going to print order dot items and i'm also going to print order dot status okay and now let me go ahead and let me call this function let me call this process order function and when i'm calling this function i'm going to pass an object here in that object i'm going to specify an id property let's say one two three and i'm going to specify the items property which is an array and there i'm going to have let's say item one and maybe item two so let's say in that order two items have been ordered you see we have an error here so this object matches this order interface there we have the id and items property but when we are passing it to this order parameter it is not accepting it why because this order parameter it is going to take that object which will match the type created using order intersection this object so in that object we should have id and items from the order interface and we should also have a status property from this object which we are intersecting with order interface i hope you got the point so now here i also need to pass status and here let's say status is shipped and now you see we don't have any error so if i save the changes everything should compile and you will see that the order item has been logged the order status has been logged and also here you can see the id of the order okay so this is one use case where we can use intersection type so i hope with this lecture the intersection type is clear to you if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day